What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to go through this applications of derivative question. So we have find the values of constants a and b so that the function f of x will have a local extreme value of 3, 1. Now for questions like this, they can be a bit confusing, but I would say start off with the most obvious thing, that this curve has the point 3, 1 on it. So if we want this curve to have the point 3, 1, then that means that f of 3 is going to be equal to 1 which tells us that when we plug 3 into this function here, when we have 1 third, 3 to the third power, plus a times 3 squared, plus b times 3, that's f of 3 here, that this whole thing is going to be equal to 1. And what this does for us, well, we simplify. We got 27 times a third is 9, and then we have plus 9 times a, and we have 3b, and this is equal to 1, it gives us a two-variable equation. Even though technically these are constants, we're solving for the value of these constants. And then if we move this term over, we get the resulting equation 9a plus 3b equals negative 8. So once we get up to this part of the problem, you have to think here that in order to solve for the values of a and b, we need to have a second equation. And the second equation is going to come from us being told that we have a local extreme value at 3, 1. And remember, a local extreme value means that this could be a local maximum or a local minimum. But no matter what we have, if I have any function, anytime I have a local extreme value, whether it's a max or a min, that tells us that we have critical points. Okay, so the idea is, is that 3, 1 is a critical point of f of x. Now, critical points could be one of two types. It could be a critical point where the first derivative is 0 or where the first derivative is undefined, where we would have some sort of sharp turn. But because f of x is a polynomial and the derivative of f of x is an x squared function, which is another polynomial, that tells us that it's going to be the critical value where the first derivative is equal to zero. So the hidden information in this statement here is that since this is a critical point, the first derivative of f at x equals 3 is going to be equal to zero. So that tells us then, now that we have this one equation here, that we have to make use of this piece of information here to set up our second equation. So the first thing we should do here is find out what is f prime of x. And f prime of x, if we do the power rule on f of x, we have 1 third times 3x squared, which is just x squared. And then we'll have 2 times a times x. And then at the end, we're going to have the derivative of bx is just b. Because remember, a and b are constants. So we're just treating them like numbers here. And then once again, if we have a local extreme value at 3, 1, that tells us the first derivative at 3 is equal to 0. So we can go ahead and plug in f prime of 3 is equal to 3 squared plus, and we have 2 times 3 is 6, and we have an extra a term here, plus b, and this is once again all equal to 0. And if we work this out, well, this is going to give us 9 plus 6a plus b is equal to 0, which gives us the equation 6a plus b equals negative 9. So then what we could do is we could write our initial equation here right underneath, 9a plus 3b equals negative 8. And now we have a system of equations that we could solve. So what I'm going to do here is get the b terms to be matching opposites. So I'll uh, multiply the top equation by negative 3. And we'll have negative 18a minus 3b equals positive 27 when we multiply everything by negative 3. And now we've got 9a plus 3b equals negative 8. The second equation, we're just leaving it alone. 
because now with this we could add these two equations together negative 18a plus 9a is negative 9a these terms cancel and this is equal to 27 minus 8 which is 19 so our first constant here that we solve for we have a is equal to negative 19 over 9. So now all we're going to have to do here to solve for b is we're going to plug the value of a back into either one of the equations that we found to solve for the other variable. So let's plug it into this one here because when we multiply 9 times negative 19 over 9, the 9 over 9 is going to cancel. So it's easier to plug into that one. So then here, we have 9 times a, which is negative 19 over 9, plus 3b equals negative 8. And now here, the 9s cancel. We get negative 19 plus 3b equals negative 8. So then let's move the 19 over. And we have 3b is equal to negative 8 plus 19 is 11. So divide by 3 and we have our second constant. So we have b is equal to 11 over 3. Now one thing we could do to investigate this question a bit more and check our answer is we could plug in the values of a and b into the original function. So we have 1 third x to the third power and we have plus ax squared, so a is negative 19 over 9 x squared, and b is 11 thirds, so we have a plus 11 thirds x. So now if we look at a graph of this function, now let's go to the point 3, 1, which is over here. And you can see that once we have a graph of this function here, that at 3, 1, we have a local minimum. So the work that we did does in fact check out for this particular question. If we wanted to show even more work, we could do the first derivative test here, and we would find another local extreme value at this point as well. But the main task of the question was just to solve for the constants a and b, which we did. So that's plenty for this question. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on applications of derivatives. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. If you've got any requests, leave them in the comments section below, and thank you for watching.